everybody, it's Jeff Cavalcami. Today I'm going to make tiramisu, and this is one of my favorite Italian desserts. It's actually, it's very simple. There's a few steps, but I think once you learn how to make them, it's going to be very easy. So we're starting with egg yolks, sugar, and marsala wine. That is one section. Then we have mascarpone cheese and our whipped cream. That's another section. And then we're going to have boiling water with espresso powder. I'm using brandy because I didn't have coffee liqueur and sugar. So what we're doing right now is, um, it's, it's called making a zabayon. So that's uh, any wine that's cooked with egg yolks and sugar. And that can be used as a sauce, but it's also a really good base for making a delicious tiramisu. We've got all of our ingredients in here and I'm gonna take it to the water bath and you're just gonna whip this until it's light and fluffy. All right, so I have a water bath going, and you only need like maybe this much water in the pot. And I'm going to put the eggs on top of here. And I'm just gonna whisk. Yeah, just gotta keep whisking, it's gonna take time. You could wait for this to cool down, but I don't have any patience, and uh, I'm assuming you don't either, so. Throw this in there. In parts. And also, if you can't find mascarpone cheese, I mean, I found this at a place where a guy named Joe trades stuff. So I'm pretty sure there's one of those everywhere. So you can find it. Um, if you can't find it and you want to make this, you can totally use cream cheese. It's just not going to be as good. Now we're going to gently fold in the whipped cream. You don't want to lose all those beautiful bubbles that you've created. So usually, and we always do this in three parts. Like when I add, in, add flour in three parts, I am adding the whipped cream in three parts. It's just good. And generally, I'm a non-dairy person, but uh, this is one of those things you just gotta deal with it. It's delicious. I mean, if you wanna make it with uh, vegan cream cheese, you know, comment in the notes, let me know how that goes. Uh, but uh, that just sounds terrible quite honestly. All right, nice and mixed, and look how light that is. It's very fluffy. Let's put a little pinky. Mmm, there's so much flavor. It's very light, it's not too sweet. It's gonna be perfect for our homemade sponge cake. So let me just clean this up, and we'll get the cake out here, all right? All right, we have our cooled cake, and so you're simply just going to run a knife around the edge, there's two reasons I did in a springform pan. Because one, it's just easier to remove. I'm just gonna take a little butter knife down here. Spin around. And then, oh, look at that. Light homemade sponge cake. And now I have this cool, uh, you probably don't have this, but I have this cool little um, cutter. As you move, there's little knobs on here little grooves, and simply take it and you run across the cake. Huh. Invest in these. I mean, it depends on how often you make a cake. If not, I've seen people put toothpicks all the way around, and then they take floss across toothpicks, and they just pull it, and it cuts right through the cake. So, when you have traditional tiramisu, it's made with ladyfingers. The reason I just made the sponge cake it's because I'm lazy. I don't want to pipe out a ton of lady fingers, rotate pans in the oven, and then layer it up in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this, and I'm taking out one little piece in the middle, and then I'm just going to cut these in big sections. I'm not... We're not getting fancy with this. This is really easy. Because I just want there to be a little bit of space. So... There's just a little bit, just a little bit of space in between there because I want the cream to kind of go in there. Otherwise, it's just too much cake. So we're gonna take our sugar, espresso powder, our brandy, and you want the water to be hot to melt the sugar. And look, that espresso powder is instantly frothy. So now, like the original recipe, they tell you to dip. Once again, I'm not dipping each one of these pieces because it's gonna get sticky. I'm literally just gonna spoon it over. All right, so, coffee and liquor sponge, soaked. Now, 
delicious Marsala Marscapone cream cheese. Shake it, because I want it to sink into all those little layers. That's beautiful. Now, I'm just gonna simply cover this with plastic wrap, wrap right on the top so it doesn't create a film, and I'm gonna throw it in the fridge overnight, and tomorrow I'm gonna serve it at my event, and I'm just gonna dust some cocoa powder on top, but um, you're actually gonna get to see that because you're coming with me to the event. Yeah. All right, everybody, I'm going to cut the tiramisu. That looks amazing. That looks so good. No, not all of them. A lot of veggies are really tough. You want All right. The first piece is the tricky piece. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 